hey, it's Hazel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a battle of the blinding highlighters. So I'm putting the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Ice Cold up against the Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss in Ice Kiss. This is a dupe for the Jeffree Star. They are very, very similar in size. Jeffree Star's a bit thicker. This one costs £5 from Superdrug. This one costs £25 from Beauty Bay. So very big price difference. So sorry, that's a bit blinding, isn't it? So let's see how they compare to each other. Let's get on with the swatches. Okay, so swatch wise, the Jeffree Star highlighter was a lot more intense than the Revolution highlighter, but this did actually hold up quite well. Like, it is quite intense still, and obviously packaging wise, they both come with big mirrors, and um, this one feels slightly lighter and cheaper than the Jeffree Star one. This one claims to come with 15 grams worth of product, and this one comes with 14 grams worth of product, so you do get slightly more with the Jeffree Star one, but it is five times the price. Uh, so let's get on with trying this on my face. And I have two highlighting brushes today that are not even close to similar. Um, I do not have a second one of these, which is my normal brush, but I did manage to borrow a smaller highlighting brush from my little sister. So <laughs> I'm gonna be using this, and I think, because this one's pink, I'll use it with Jeffree Star, and because this one is white and gold, I'm going to use it with the Revolution one. Um, so let's get testing them. First off, I will test the Revolution one on this side. Well, I gotta say, like in this lighting, it's not very good. You can't really see it, but when you have the um, flash for your camera on, which I'm currently using as lighting because I'm away from home, I do not have all my lights with me. So I'm using a camera flash, but with the camera flash on, that was blinding. That was amazing. I'm really impressed with that. Let's do the comparison to Jeffree Star on the other side. Okay, so final thoughts. In person, they came out very, very similar. The Jeffree Star one was slightly smoother, um, a lot more like fine, whereas this one did kind of show up my skin texture a little bit, but that could have been the brush choice. I'm not gonna fault it for that. It is not chalky at all. It is very, very similar consistency to the Jeffree Star one. The only difference is on camera, the Jeffree Star one showed up a lot brighter than the Makeup Revolution one. And you know, for photography, if you're taking pictures of yourself, then probably the Jeffree Star one's for you. But if you just want a highlighter that looks good in person, under like, you know, nice lighting, then definitely this one is much better for your money. It's a fiver, <laughs> it's not 25 pounds. So if you want something a fifth of the price that does most of the job, then definitely go for this one. It is a very good highlighter. It may not be exactly the same, but it's pretty damn similar. So I definitely recommend it. You know, if you're a professional, you can probably afford the Jeffree Star one anyway, so just go for that one. But if you're just a regular human being, definitely this one, definitely this one. Um, and yeah, that's my final thoughts. Thank you very much for listening to me and watching. Thank you very much guys, and I'll see you next week. And don't forget, if you do want to join the Morphe Me, club, whatever it's called. I do have a code, not a code, a link down below which you get a free brush and I get a free brush if you use it, so you're welcome. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys! And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video channel. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe.